Hello and welcome my Scorpions, just skedaddling along, having a merry old time. I've got to show you something absolutely terrible! So if you guys don't know, one cool thing about uh, alchemists is that they can see through walls. It's like one of the coolest things about alchemists is like a base tower. And I was thinking, well, a transforming tonic, of course, can also clearly see through walls. So I sent out a Moab and I'm like, all right, let's give this a real test just before I actually jump in on this map and decide everything. And then I use my bill. So basically, in other words, we can't see through walls, which limits us in even further terrible, terrible ways of dealing with an alchemist on chimps by himself. Is it even remotely possible? I have no idea. Um, if we cannot beat the start of this map, for sure, it is completely, unbelievably impossible. Um, the only thing that we could possibly do is try to survive a little bit longer by doing some sort of um, starter hero that can actually start the game off. But even then, is that going to get us anywhere, really? I mean, we can get further, but can we get anywhere deep into the game? Well, no hero can solo chimps DDTs by himself. Um, so the answer is no, we cannot beat chimps. But maybe we could get to the 80s or even further, maybe into the 90s or something like that. But hey, we're actually not doing that bad of a job so far. The problem is round 9 is going to be coming up soon and that's going to change things completely. Do we try to save up and just uh, go for a second alchemist or go for the larger potions? Um, a second alchemist would definitely be better, but it seems like larger potions probably gonna be required. As with a lot of these chimps runs, the start seems to be one of the biggest issues for us, because we're trying to use towers that don't necessarily always start the game off. Um, or surviving long enough to afford a tower like a super monkey, or to get like a heli pilot going, like that is not an easy feat to pull off, especially on some of these more difficult maps than the beginner maps that we were able to play around with. Um... The question is, is this larger potions going to be strong enough to help us to survive long enough to not just get us through this next round, but actually get us to be able to afford either Etienne or another alchemist? One other issue that we run into is if we spend too much money on alchemists before we're able to afford Etienne, we will not get our level for Etienne to get camera detection in time, because he actually takes all the way up until round 5 to get that camera detection. Did I say round five? Level five to get that camera detection. So we've got a lot of issues all riding over here, and it might mean that we cannot even get started in this chimps game. But so far, things are flowing. Things are going. And honestly, if we can beat round 10, we might be in good shape here. So let's 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 not get too negative on ourselves yet. Let's try to be reasonably positive, pick ourselves up by our bootstraps, fight till the very end, to the bitter end, and see if we can make some crap happen here, boys. Uh-oh, yellow balloons already. Ooh, we didn't miss. I gotta get another hit, and we do survive possibly round 11. I think so. I think we beat round 11. That's gonna get us to Etienne. That's gonna change things completely. And my negativity must go out the window. But I really hope that I never have to do this again because this is just so scary to watch that all happen and just feel like I have no control over the situation. So for all of you naysayers out there that are thinking alchemists, Chris, come on, like you can't be chimps with alchemists. It's it's obviously physically impossible. I mean, look at the upgrades, bro. Stronger Stam doesn't do anything. Robert of Gold doesn't do anything. Permanent Brew and Balloon Master Alchemist doesn't do anything. And even if you get a tr total transformation, you can't even transform your other alchemists into anything of reasonable value, right? I mean, come on. This is, it's $50,000 too, this is worthless. But there is one, one upgrade that can make things happen. The Transforming Tonic. And believe it or not, the Transforming Tonic is not a bad tower. I often look at him as sort of not great, I mean, when I'm playing my regular games, but it's because usually by the time that I get to be able to afford a Transforming Tonic, I feel like there's just better things out there. You know, I could spend my $5,000 on a Ring of Fire, or like a nice glue gunner, or even like an Overdrive Tax Shooter, or, or a, a, a Moet Press for Moet Popping Power. Like, I can get a lot of things for that amount of money. So Transforming Tonic is kind of like at the bottom of my list. But when you start to spam transforming tonics, they're actually not that bad. So, can we get a transforming tonic in time to actually make a difference here? Well, I for sure need to get some alchemists flowing in here, and I think for all of my alchemists, I'm going to get larger potions at the very least. Um, I believe... 
yeah, larger potions. It's cheap. It's easy. Um, now we got a pretty good amount of popping power overall. I mean, it's not great or anything like that, but hey, we're actually popping things. So that's cool. And then we're going to hope that Etienne's still going to reach level uh, 5. He does reach level 5 before round 24, so we do have our cam detection. Cha-ching, cha-ching, baby! All right. So if you're impressed already with how far we're getting with Alchemists, well, I think you're going to be excited about the future here, guys. Because all we need to do is once we get one Transforming Tonic, if we can micro properly and plan ahead accordingly, we might be able to go deep here. Might be able to go deep. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see how far we can go without too many issues first. You guys remember how I told you $5,000 for the Transforming Tonic? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But I also managed to forget one thing about that. Unstable Concoction. The third tier. It coats Moab class blooms in ex an explosive substance that causes a large explosion when they are popped. That is only good late game, like round 80 plus. So if you are buying these Transforming Tonics, you're basically wasting that $3,000 until later on in the game, at least in my opinion. I mean, like, you could probably get a little bit of damage here and there in the mid-50s, mid 54, something like that. Maybe a little bit of action in the 60s. That would not be, like, my normal plan, my normal goal to spend $3,000 to just get a little bit of explosive damage out of my Moabs. So, that feels a little bit, a little bit wasteful to me, honestly, if I gotta be honest with you. Uh, and then we have to spend the $5,000 on this Transformer Tonic after the fact. Whoop. All right, I don't know where I was at. I just got a phone call from my wife. Just, you know, I, I don't remember where I, what I was doing, where I was at. Just had to have deep, dark, well, it wasn't that dark. Just maybe slightly upsetting conversation really quickly. Um, and we are back in action here, and we only need another $1,800 here. One of my kind of mildly... I don't know what I'm going to say here. I guess I'm afraid of round 40. And the only way that I think I could beat round 40 is, of course, if I get this transforming tonic. But I still want to try to get more alchemists flowing in here. Um, Come on. Reach them magically. Dang. <gasps> no! No! Oh, my God. I double hit escape. I hate my life. This is exactly what I was afraid of. I can't even beat round 7 again. <laughs> Dude, like, I, f I was so lucky that first time, and now I'm just never going to happen again. All right, so uh, I ended up beating round 36. I decided to add an extra alchemist in here. Uh, round 7 took a really weirdly odd, stupid amount of time to beat. Um, I had to move my alchemist just, like, literally millimeters at this point. I don't even know, just to make it all work, but luckily it is working. Um, once we get our first Transforming Tonic, it's not game over. I mean, again, timing these abilities is going to be pretty key. Um, the good news is we will have one ability with, et uh, with uh, Etienne, one ability with the Transforming Tonic, and then hopefully as time goes on, we can get our second ability for Etienne, and then a bunch of these guys as well to have abilities. So hopefully it all just kind of works out in the end. Um, we are getting to the point, though, that regular blooms that aren't ceramics are getting taken down without, uh, any additional help. Just the alchemy themselves is doing the damage, but the ceramic layers, as you can tell, Etienne really does need to do some damage to those things before our alchemy can kill them. Um, either which way, though, I think the best bet for us is just to keep on, uh, buying more transforming tonics at this point in the game. As soon as we get to the point where we have about three of them, ooh, look at this. Loon already sneaking through on round 39. Okay, I'm not really sure if this is going to help, but we're going to try for another Alchemist. I really cannot use my Transforming Tonic before the Moab, because I really need this thing for the Moab. Uh, like, really, really, really need this thing for the Moab. So, the question is, is are our, are, are our Alchemy, uh, Alchemists going to be enough damage here just in general against these balloons? I mean, this is a pretty easy... Ugh, look at this crap. Dang. Okay, I'm going to try something a little bit goofy here. Um, Al Alchemist can see through walls, so we're going to throw this Alchemist over here. I'm going to throw another Alchemist over here, just as base Alchemists. Um, you know, a thousand bucks spent, not that big of a deal. But what this is going to allow us to do is to get more random slow popping power. Because the way Alchemists work is, of course, they're going to throw it on the balloons, and then they're going to slowly pop, uh, I believe, twice more. Which means um, giving us time to be alchemized is actually one of the key factors in popping things. And clearly there is not enough time to pop everything in the middle of this map. So we're hoping that this guy can start the game off a little easier and or 
and or do a little bit of cleanup, but dang, this is getting rough already. I do not like this at all. Round 39, what? And then top it all off with the fact that balloons leave in two different areas while balloons are already coming in. And it's very difficult to see exactly what's going on with all of that. So I don't know, bro. I don't know. I mean, there is that option of possibly using a transforming tonic somewhat early and hoping that we get it back in time for when we actually need it. But I don't know if that's going to be possible either. Oh, you know what we can do? I think we can survive by using Etienne's drones. All right, you know, we have to use our ability smart here, so we're going to go for a fairly early drones. Maybe we'll get it back for the end of round 40 or something like that as well. It'll just keep us in the game for round 39. But I think the major thing that's going to be needed here is going to be this transforming tonic. But I think it could probably solo mode pretty easily. So let's see how this goes down. Uh, all right, as soon as it's in range. All right, taking down the Moab. It explodes as well. And oh, yeah, that went down real easy. Like, whew, that was nice. That was real nice, like... Uh, but we've got some difficult rounds coming up here. Uh, luckily, Etienne has given every single one of my Alchemist Cam Detection, so around 42's Camo Problem hopefully will not be as much of a problem as it is money-making opportunity. Yeah. But we need to buy more. Um, again, it costs about $8,000 to make all this crap happen, so let's get it going. These regen balloons, man. Look at this. Oh my god, we're losing around 42 even! Every single round can kill you, man. Every single round can kill you. It's almost insanity. Um, I don't think it was a regen problem, maybe a little bit, but it was like camo balloons and regens trying to sneak through at the same time. It's kind of absurd. Uh, luckily, again, Etienne's ability is going to keep us in the game. We do have, uh, for round 43, we, hit, we do have this ability ready to go. Uh, want to use it kind of at the last second almost, though. Um, it worked out, but again, we are still several thousand dollars away from our next, uh, our next boy here. And we don't have any abilities here, so if this is, like, not able to survive... We lose. It's just, it's that easy, man. One mistake, one issue is going to cause you to lose this game here. And there's almost nothing we could do about it. We can try to build like another random alchemist here and there. I mean, look at this green balloon. Take it down. Oh, I really thought he was going to kill it. All right, so sadly, I had to buy another random alchemist. We're going to see if this is going to be enough here. Again, do not have any abilities to like mess around with at this point. So surprisingly, one of the easiest rounds in the game, usually round 44, is causing chaos for us. Uh, this time around, it does go good. One alchemist does change the game a little bit. Uh, he's on divide and conquer right now. I think I'm gonna switch him to first, see if that makes any big difference here. And uh, we have the drones ready to go. I think I have to use the drones again. There's a bunch of rainbows, man. Too many rainbows for me. And a bunch of camos coming out too. Camo purples in particular. All right, Ooh. oh, no. I thought it was 3,800 for a second. It's 4,800. Luckily, we do have our ability here, so we probably could survive long enough to get our second ability. And then once we get that guy, things will start to get a lot better, but still not amazing-tastic. All right, big chunks of balloons here. I would assume that I can't take these guys down without this. And we get our second transforming tonic. But, ooh, we don't have the ability yet! Oh, crap. All right. Well, let's hope that this thing helps us survive for a little bit. We do, we do. Like I said, once we get three of these guys, that's when I'll start to feel safe. All right, right now, I still feel pretty dangerous. One mistake can cause us to lose this game. Have us to restart this game completely. Whew. All right, in round 49 is coming up, which is a uh, pretty difficult balloon round. Let's see, rainbows. Can we take down regular rainbows now without any extra help? I would hope so. Just regular rainbows. Decent amounts of them. Just, they're kind of spaced out. Uh, yes, it looks like we can take down these rainbows. I was waiting for the overwhelm to kind of happen to us, but nope, not too bad. Now, super ceramics. Uh, without any extra help, we can take down Super Ceramics too? At least when they're separated by a lot of other crap, we can. Delicious, dude. Delicious. All right, so absolutely going to need to use our abilities here. Um, probably both on the Ceramic section and on the Regen section. But that's going to leave us in a little bit of a weird situation for Moabs on round 50. And we have to hope that we magically get enough money to either afford another Transforming Tonic or, um just kind of get this ability back in time. I don't know which. Maybe both, actually. Maybe both. All right, here we go. Here's the regen balloons. We're going to go for another one of these abilities. And here's our third transforming tonic. All right, that is actually good news. Um, you can actually look at the ability cooldowns here. We're going to try to almost always have one of these guys happening is basically what I want to do. Um, I think that's what I want to do. I don't know. It's hard to know for sure if it's worth it to kind of like always activate them or if it's better to activate them when you actually need them. Um, 
It's a weird, it's a weird situation, bro. I mean, nobody does this kind of crap. Nobody does this strategy. <sighs> All right. All right, let's go for another one of these pool. Bloom sneak it through. Oakley doakley. Um, not the biggest deal in the entire world. Just gotta activate it just a little bit sooner. The rounds that come out kind of quicker are actually better for us. And we are making a decent amount of money now, so we can actually afford a decent amount of transforming tonics. All right. All right, all right. Rainbows, we seem to have uh, handled here. Not gonna worry about those guys. Once we see ceramics, we can activate another one of these puppies. And we got two Moabs popped easily by this delicious, delicious blue monster here. Okay. Um, now, one other issue that I haven't really talked about yet is space. Alchemists are, are they're not fat. I mean, I, I mean, they're, they're, they're thick with one C. All right, they're thick with one C. They're not, they're not crazy thick or anything like that. They do take up some space. And on this map in particular, you don't have unlimited space. I'm ready to go for another one of these abilities. Uh, don't forget that it does take time for these things to pop. It's not an instantaneous pop everything kind of situation or anything like that. Oh, we do have the UCAV available now, too. That can also keep us in the game pretty well. Here's a bunch of ceramic. Ooh, yep, gonna lose. So it sucks to keep cutting you guys off there every single time, but it literally is. Every single rush, every single thing could kill us. Could absolutely kill us. And will kill us. Um, and I am not a perfect ability user, as you can plainly see. I can only do so much. So, uh, yeah. We'll just do our best here see what the heck happens. Let's hope we pop this mob. We do pop the Moab. Delish. And let's go for another one of these puppies. This is going to be our fifth transforming tonic already this game. Now let's get another one of these guys active. They do last a pretty long time. That's the only good thing I've got going for me. Like, you got Maelstroms and stuff where they, like, you use them and then they're basically gone. You know, they only last a few seconds. Gosh darn it, man. It's tough to talk while I'm watching these balloons. All right, there's just so much going on. But 57 has been completed as well, and we are almost ready for our fifth transforming tonic. Woo! I'm always going to keep one active, no matter what. That's what I'm going to do, and we're going to see if we need to go two active at the same time. That's going to be the plan from now on. All right, just keep them active, even if it doesn't seem like it's that bad. Just don't let the balloons build up or anything like that. And I can easily keep this going, where I have at least one ability kind of left over here for emergencies, kind of always at the same time. And as we get more of these guys, we can do that where we almost have double going on at the same time. Which is really even better for us. Okay, um... Alright. Well, things are going okay. Um, we're gonna wait until things get at least in range here before we use it. And I can activate specific ones if I desire. I don't know if that's going to really help us out that much. Let's see. Can one of these guys pop a BFB? Just kind of by himself here. Yes. Surprisingly, yes. That was not bad. All right. Now we're getting to the point where there's going to be a lot of balloons coming out. Round 63 in particular is going to be pretty dangerous here. We're going to start to have to activate more than one at the same time here just to kind of stay alive. Um, it's difficult to do, but not impossible. Plus, these guys, uh, purple balloons are causing some chaos. So we might actually have to use our UCAV here. But I really want to save that for round 63. Let's use this ability instead. Just to make sure things are going to go down. Try to save as many of these uh, guys as we can for round 63. Uh, it's not getting too dangerous over here. But we do have a reinforced mob we will for sure need to use our ability on here. There's two of them. Let's use our ability. And it looks like, yeah, 62 will go down. Scarily will go down. But it will go down. And now here it is. 63. We're going to start off with the UCAV. We're going to still continue with one of these guys activated at the very least. Um, kind of the entire time. We do survive with the UCAV. How long does it last? At least one more ceramic rush. Come on. At least one more ceramic rush worth. It does okay, but it is currently gone. And we do take down round second set of round 62. Three. Can we take down the third set? Which is also, keep in mind, the biggest set. All right, so we're going to just go for a double dose here. One and two. This is three for a little while. Um, and we use two to clean them up. All right, not bad, not bad. Of course, we're going to need more for round 64 here, but luckily two are still activated for a little while. 
Uh, that keeps us in the game for a pretty long time. We're gonna go for the drones here to kind of assist a little bit, and one more of these monsters. But you see, I had to kind of wait a little bit, because we are starting to get to the point where we're using so many of them, we're not gonna get them back exactly when we need them. So as far as, uh, places to put these guys go, there's not that many left. Um, it's really sad, but you can only fit one alchemist inside of this area, which is really sad, because you can fit, like, usually two dart monkeys or two tachyters or something like that. Um, but you cannot fit multiple alchemists, sadly. Um, we do have spots up here, up here, here, and kind of uh, down here. They're not great spots, but they still are spots. And then, of course, we could go cray-cray and fit as many alchemists as we want kind of up in the top here. We're down in the bottom here. Um, so there, there's not really a shortage of being able to put them down, but there is a shortage of being able to put them down in spots that actually matter. And that's what I'm a little bit afraid of. Will we get the spots that matter um, to actually make sense here? I hope so, obviously. I already go for a double dose here. This is two BFBs. Um, we'll have a decent amount of time, out around 66 here, to kind of build up our, our defense again. And we're getting to the point where we can afford more transforming tonics. We're at five, six now. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm down for six transforming tonics, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's basically activating two at the same time almost all the time. It's about what it means. Uh, and if I don't need to have two activated at the same time, I won't. But sooner rather than later, I'll probably have two activated all the time. Because we're going to get pretty crazy up in here with a lot of BFBs and Moabs, reinforced Moabs, and just crazy amounts of balloons coming out against us. So, dang, dude. All right, luckily the 60s aren't too bad, so we'll see you guys hopefully for the 70s. But don't forget... I can make a mistake at any point and loses this game. I hope that doesn't happen. So things have been going okay so far. It still is one of those things where literally any single stupid mistake is going to kill us. And I really have to catch myself when I do make a mistake on top of all of that. Which is also pretty difficult to do. Because I'm trying to leave my hands. Just so you guys know, it's weird to like know that I have to stretch my entire hand to the escape button. From a regular like ASDF. That's where I keep my hand. I keep it on ASDF, and then I go to 1 and 2 uh, for my abilities, 1, 2, and 3. And then if I need to build something, I kind of micro with whatever I got over here. That's usually the plow. Okay, we're going to go for a UCAF here in addition. And we're going to try to keep at least two cookie monsters going on at the same time here, all right? Let's go for them. There's a third, because this is a big rush. Big BFB rush. Big boys here. Uh, I got to activate another one, and it looks like 75. One of the tougher rounds in the game is defeated. We're going to go for an extra one of these guys on 76, because this is a lot of balloons. Um, it's getting scary here, but... My God. <laughs> why? Like, why? Why would that happen to me, dude? One green balloon? Like, what are the chances? All right, decided to just go kind of all in here with three guys activated at the same time. Somehow ended up way, way worse. I don't I don't get it. Guess we're going to wait until they get kind of in a bundle here. Activate everything all at once. Keep it nice and slow. And of course. I think we lose. I cannot I cannot beat this. No matter what I do and what the timing and everything, it's actually getting significantly worse. Ugh. Oh! Dragon luck is on our side! Thank you! Thank you! Oh my goodness. That had to be like my 15th, 20th try on round 76. I mean, it doesn't take that much time to reset, but it's, it's very stressful. It's stress-inducing to watch thousands of regen balloons randomly just kind of scatter in every single direction and like paying attention to whether or not you're going to pop them or, or not because we literally had rainbows all over the place here and here and here and i had to kind of like spray attack just to make sure that i was actually going to pop the ball and i was not able to pop them all while they were in the circle i actually had to wait until they were in the uh the outskirts of the map here to survive either which way we have succeeded we have survived I'm going to try to save the UCAV for a little later on, but one problem with the UCAV on this map in particular is that usually you want to use the UCAV against the balloons, right? 
but the UCAV specifically is going to attack basically the closest balloon to it, and that means we're going to attack a lot of MOABs and BFBs in the process. So UCAV and Etienne on this map in particular, woo, going to be rough here, man. I don't know that we're going to make it, but I am rooting for myself, and I'm rooting for us, guys. We're rooting for each other. All right, let's UCAV this to start. Of course, get a little of this action in there. And a little more action in there. And that uh, was a scary one, but uh, we did succeed. Sadly, I'm going to have to use quite a few of these on the uh, the camo section coming up here as well. But the good news is we can just about afford another alchemist. Um, I think I'm going to throw them here. I think I'm going to build all, all of them over here like this. All right, another one of these guys. Ooh, not in range of the BFB. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, camo balloons might be on top of the BFB though right now. That's going to be kind of upsetting. Yeah, it's going to be kind of upsetting. And there's purple balloons. All right, so we've got to use Etienne's ability here. And we're going to go for, like, a lot of them. Just a lot, a lot of them. Hope that that's enough. Uh, yes, it is. And we keep two of them available here for around 79. It's kind of a slow burn on 79 because there's a lot of regens. But, of course, any of those regens could kill you. So you have to be careful with them, as per usual. But we added an extra squad here. Extra little team for us. Now it's going to get kind of weird because I... This guy's a lot of range. But it's not infinite range. He can reach the tip of the circle here, though. That's pretty nice. That does help out quite a bit. I will admit that. Not the end of the world here. Ooh, we need another one. Getting some build-up in the middle. Whenever you see a bunch of build-up in the middle, you have no idea whether or not they're just going to start and spraying somewhere else. I have no abilities right now. That is sad. All right, I got two now. Four now, so I use four all at the same time. <laughs> that was... I mean, it was kind of a necessity, but uh, makes you realize when you use four at the same time, you're not going to have a bunch when you might need it. All right, we're going to go for that UCAV. We're going to build one of these guys, and we're going to go for Etienne's ability here. Uh, it's going pretty well. we got the end of round 79 to deal with here, though. It's a pretty tough one to reinforce BFBs. But we again do follow through. All right. I think we have to build a... Uh, uh, well, I've got one, two, and three left that I can still upgrade. Let's do this one first. Whatever's in range. We can do this a little on the early side. You do get extra range when you use that ability, so don't forget about that. Um, and now we can just start spamming whatever abilities we want. That should be enough to take these guys down. I think just a couple of these guys is all we need, hopefully. Still a decent amount of... Whoop! Nope, I lied. All right, looks like four of these guys was the master plan for round 80. Oof, man, if we're struggle logging that hard against round 80, I do not know how round 81 plus is going to go. But I think we are going to die at any point here. And then after we die, I don't think I'm going to retry. You know, if I can't even beat the mid-80s, I, I just know that I won't be going long term here. Um, run out of room, run out of space, running out of... Everything that we could possibly do here. So, oh, I don't think I should have done that. I gotta put him on last if I'm gonna do anything. He doesn't see through walls, remember? At least I should have put him down here, I think. Alright, we gotta keep quite a few of these guys active, but 81 is still going down. Um, in a not super problematic way. Three of them active at once, though. That's where we get kind of, whew, kind of rough. All right, we're going to go for, for sure the guys in the middle first. Even though I already started to upgrade this guy, I, I'm realizing it's a bad bad place to put him. All right, first couple of BFBs here. I'm actually going to speed this up a little bit. I am, after beating around 81, I was not super duper afraid. Um, I mean, of course, anything could still kill us. But I feel like I could speed this up a reasonable amount and still feel reasonably comfortable in pressing escape here and knowing when pure and utter chaos is about to happen. But two active at the same time is usually kind of, like, the way to go. At least one, sometimes two, whenever uh, uh, there's mobs or BFBs kind of on the screen. All right, we get another one of these puppies. All right, I'm wondering if any of the weirder spots in the bottom would probably be efficient or good at all. All right, we got to go for a couple of these guys. I let them build up a little bit too much. Um, the moabs exploding are actually kind of helping us, though, in some situations. It's exploding a lot of the balloons and stuff. Uh, obviously, I was saying that it was kind of a waste earlier on in the game, but now it's starting to come into play a little bit. That build-up can actually make a big difference. 
Uh, all right. Um, I think we officially have every single one of these guys up. Trying to pay attention to both the screen and that at the same time is pretty difficult, though. I'll admit it. How did I press escape? Press tab or something? What the heck? Um, all right, I think I'm going to try for one on the bottom and see how it works. And then if that goes smooth, I might build more down there or more on the top. I don't know which. All right, we got three activated right now, and that's kind of a lot. But it kind of feels like it's almost a necessity here. There's a lot of balloons. Now let's try to take a quick break here. Give us a little bit of time to work. And we're going to go for a UCAV combo here. Because we got round 85 coming up. It's a bunch of... Uh, uh, Zomigots, which I'm not too afraid of, realistically. Um, and you give, it gives you kind of a lot of time to work on them. So... Oh, this guy is already a thing. But check this out. Look at this. Chasing the Zomigot. Oh, wait! He's kind of cheating the system. He is going through the hedge. How is he able to do that? Now he can't. It's like kind of going through just a little bit. It's very goofy. Anyways, um... We go for Atan's drones first. And then we're going to have to go for a pretty good amount of these guys. Let's go for like three to start. Kind of get rid of the Zoma God layer. I'm going to go for another three here as soon as that guy pops, I think. Let's go for at least one more. Um, it's got to be reasonably slow. We do have six available to us again. There's a lot of them on this guy right now, but we're about to wear off. All right, we got to have at least three activated for these balloons. Uh, let's see if three is enough. All right, three was enough. Delicious. All right, let's get this other transforming tonic near the bottom. See how well this guy does. With the extra range, we might be we might be doing something all right. But it's only really going to be when there's a lot of balloons on the screen, not when there's like a single bad or a single something coming out against us. Because reaching is not easy. All right, we got to get some more activated here. There's a lot of them. A lot of balloons. I think there's at least three activated right now. Um, that looks to be enough. Heck yeah! All right. Woo! All right. Is there any other spots that I could fit these guys in? Well, we got like a smidge of a break. Uh, there is some spots randomly in here, but I don't know if they're small enough for alchemy. Ooh, there's two spots here. I think this might be good. Oh yeah! How did I miss these, bro? How did I miss these? All right. Let's at the very least use this guy. I should have used this guy too, but I screwed that up. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pretty hard here. The pretty good amount. Let's do four of them because there's fours of my gods right now. I have like twelve total abilities at this point. I don't even know exactly how many I have. And then we're gonna try to UCAV this. So let's go for a few more, and we're gonna UCAV all on top of this. And hope that that UCAV pops a lot of the balloons on the inside, allowing uh, everybody else to kind of just pop the Moab layer. And it worked out perfect. Woo! All right. I mean that's that's good news for us, dude. Very good news for us. Again, don't forget that any single stupid mistake could cost us the game here. Getting to the mid-80s is already almost a miracle. Uh, it's kind of scary to watch. Very scary to watch. Oh, man. And this guy actually doing something, actually? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay, so I do admit that my commentary in this uh, video is probably pretty awful. Um, I'll admit it. I don't really know what to say. I'm I'm really honestly trying my best to commentate this thing, but it's like everything is just so chaotic in the middle of the screen here. It's hard to know what the heck is even going on most of the time. All right, so please forgive me. This is it's a special kind of video, bro. It's a special kind of unique kind of video here. Every ability we got's got to be used here on round 88. Surprisingly. Um, we're down to one. One of these abilities. So I, I gotta try to last this out. Give myself a little bit of... Ooh, I got it. Oh, no. Yes! Okay, so even though he's in a terrible spot, completely useless. Luckily for us, we're gonna get a little bit of time here. Gonna take a break. I'm gonna wait for these oh my gods to get a little closer to the, to the middle here. I'm gonna try to burn them kind of both at the same time. Let's go for... Let's go for every ability we got. Four of them, and we kind of build a couple back. That's good. That's good. Um, these guys are, of course, getting pretty beefy here, though. I gotta go for another one. This is too many balloons. Let's see if this is gonna be enough here. It's a lot of them, and it is enough. Delicious. All right, but now I do not have very many for round 89, which could be pretty problematic. I got three of them right now. That's not bad. 
Try to keep at least one activated again at all times. Maybe we'll go up to two. Or three. Uh, ceramics are going down. The Moabs are exploding the other ceramics, which is beautiful. Beautiful to watch and beautiful to see. And another transforming tonic added to the squad. Okay. Um, yeah, some of these guys still kind of useless. It kind of sucks when you see like this one being used because it, it just feels wrong. Um, I really have to be more proactive with how I use this guy. Like right when the Moabs are coming out is when I need to use this guy. This one's kind of also pretty stupid. I don't want to call it worthless, but like you have to be lucky or super duper skilled to use that guy at the right time. All right, here we go. DDTs. Should this be a problem? I don't foresee it being a big deal for us. I think that this is going to be actually pretty easy overall. I'm just going to use two of these guys and see if that's enough. Or really three, but uh, three was more than enough. Okay. I mean, that was not as easy as I thought, though. I guess that's actually kind of a bad thing. I thought it was going to be easier. So, so when we look at it like that, it's like, ooh, Chris, I don't know, bro. This could get a little scarier once we get to round 95. Okay, it really looks like this guy was glitching. Oh, yeah, he's glitching hard, bro. What's going on with that guy? <laughs> I've never seen something like that happen before. He's, like, trying to shoot too many things at once or something like that. Oh, my God, look at this BFB festival. All right, we got to go big here. Uh, we're going to UCAB it as well. I don't know if that's the right decision, but we're going for it. Bloons are trying to sneak through. I pretty much needed to do this. UCAB is still attacking the Moabs and the BFBs, which is not what I want to have happen, but we do survive round 91, but we had to use a lot of abilities to make that happen. All right, again, once we get to this point, kind of just try to take it a little slow. Just kind of one at a time or something like that. Hopefully. Another glitch fest for this guy. Maybe two at a time. Maybe use uh, some of these guys that are a little less amazing in other situations and hope that they just kind of work out well for us. And I think we're back in action. All right, I don't, I'm not too afraid about not having enough abilities. It's just, do we use them at the right time or whatnot? All right, a few more. All right, 92. Pretty decently beefy, but not ridiculously beefy. All right, and we got four more Zoma oh Gods to deal with. Okay. And another Transforming Tonic, though. I think we're pretty much maxed out in the, in the middle here. All right, we're going to go pretty big here. We're going to go for this, and we're going to go for another uh, big chunk. Round 93 is going to be a bunch of DDTs, though, so I don't want to use up all of my power. But I think I could use a UCAF, because that won't be that helpful on round 93. So here we go. We're going to get uh, try to save as many of these guys as we can. Um, at least three is probably good, but we might need more. Luckily, they're still sort of activated right now, but DDTs don't come out right away. And we get five up. Okay, five might be enough. What do we have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty four. I think we have 13 right now, which is kind of ridiculous. All right, let's use three of them at the very least. Let's use four. Uh, yeah, all right. That went, that went okay. That went okay. I can kind of almost always keep three or four active at the same time, though. I mean, I, it seems crazy when I'm like, oh, use four at the same time. That's ridiculous. But I could probably do that pretty consistently. Oh, man, this is getting close, though. This is getting real twite. Real twite-like. If there's going to be a round that kills us, it's going to be 94, 96, or 98. That is my opinion. There's also the chance that round 100 will kill us. Um, but, of course, I hope that that is not the case. You gotta hope. All right. 94. Another beef. Another beef round. Another beef cake. All right. I think we got to go in the top here because I think the bad bloom is going to come out of the top. So, if we're actually planning ahead here, this would be the way to go. <laughs> All right. Are we planning ahead? I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, yes, we've got to start somewhere. This is beefy. All right, we got to go pretty big here. We're going to UCAB as well. We're going to use Etienne's abilities. We're going to hope that the explosion of a lot of Moabs in the middle here is actually what's going to be keeping us alive. But I have no idea what's going on in the middle of the map. No idea. But it doesn't look like we're getting overwhelmed. Things are actually getting popped. Somewhat slowly, but they are getting popped. And we got some extra money here. Let's buy another Transforming Tonic. Get ourselves ready for round 95, and I've got a few more abilities left, and 94, surprisingly, will, I think, go down. Um, oh no, it won't. Oh boy, look at that. Woo, every round, man, every round. Okay, used every single ability I got here for round 94. Um, it's all I got, though, it's not enough. So like I said, if I'm struggling on 94, 
96 is even beefier. 98 is even beefier than that. So, this is looking pretty rough, man. Gotta be honest with you guys. This is looking pretty rough. Alright. Only good news is we are going to be making some money here. So, I can buy another one of these guys once I get the money for it. I gotta go, I gotta go with a little more spread than I was. Um, I kind of built all seven all at once here. And I think that was the wrong play. I think one every, like, five seconds or so to be more consistent is probably a better play. All right, so far it's going okay. Can't really tell for sure what's going on, but it looks okay. There's a lot of Zoma Gods here that we gotta deal with though. And I'm hoping that my UCAV near the end of the round will actually be more effective than it- <gasps> Dude, I'm ready to quit. I'm ready to quit. This is the most stressful thing I've ever done in my entire freaking life. I barely caught that. Barely, 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 barely caught that. Do you guys see this in the corner here? This is terrible. My life is almost over, man. This is, this is, oh. All right, down to the last threes, oh my gods. We have no abilities left whatsoever, though. I had to go big here to make this happen. Uh, I have to hope that you have last just a little bit longer. And it does, and we get Etienne to level 20, which is going to change things a little bit in our favor. This is going to give us a decent amount of popping power, but of course, no abilities for round 95. Somewhat planned. Somewhat planned. Not perfectly planned, obviously. Um, these purples might literally get in the way of our our win, though. Um, oop, gotta buy another one of these guys. Can't tell really what's going on here, but we've gotta build this up a little bit before these DDTs arrive. Otherwise, we're screwed. Absolutely and unbelievably screwed. Alright, let's start with one of these guys. Get rid of the purple layer. We gotta go for more than one or two of these guys. We gotta go pretty beefy. Alright, there's to be a lot of guys... Build it, build it up. Building up. Building up. Building up. So when I say that this is stressful, I am not joking around. I am actually stressed out from this game. I am on edge, watching very closely at the exact center of wherever my hero's face is. And I'm watching, are there balloons sneaking through? But there's things coming in here, things coming in here, things spreading out all over the place, things jumping through, things going reverse and forward and everything. And it gets stressful. You can't watch everything. I mean, your eyes are only so good, man. Your brain can only uh, register and understand so many colors and movements and everything all at the same time, especially when they're kind of covered up by the bigger balloons. The mobs and the BFBs are kind of on top, and the balloons are underneath, so you literally can't even see them, even if you wanted to see them. So sadly, our round 95 run, maybe there's a chance that maybe we could have possibly gotten through round 95, but even if we did, round 96 would have been an issue, and round 98 would have been a major, major issue, and I honestly am not sure that we would have been able to get round 98 with our current setup. So, obviously luck played a little bit of factor, skill does play a little bit of factor, but also the capability of the game. Sometimes it is physically impossible to do things. I'm not saying 100% for sure that you cannot do an Alchemist Etienne combo, uh, and you for sure will lose every single time. But dang, it's gotta be near up, near the impossible scale. Just even surviving into the 80s or the 90s with these guys is impressive in itself. That being said, we're gonna try with Geraldo. Now I'm gonna straight with you guys. I think when people uh, see me break out Geraldo, they assume, wow, Chris, like, you're gonna easily beat this. Easily. I mean, Geraldo at some point could solo chimps by himself. Now you have supporting towers? Well, uh, be wary of the used to be able to solo things because he's been nerfed. He's been nerfed several times over again. And on top of that, that was playing on the easiest beginner maps in the game. Uh, or actually, the easiest? Maybe not the easiest, but one of the easiest beginner maps in the game. Um, and in this scenario, of course, this is not the easiest map. I mean, it's, it's relatively easy because you get a big bundle of stuff, but that doesn't always make it easier, especially when you've got so much chaos going on. And I feel like this really is... Chaos is the best way to explain it. It just is. It's chaos, man. So either which way, um, 
Uh, we've got some work to do here. If I do fail with Geraldo, this will be my last try. The lucky thing for me is I do have continues available to me. We are playing Himps at the moment. So uh, I can replay the last round, but if I make a mistake two rounds ago, I cannot go back in time and refix the mistake that we made. It is officially just GG, game over. Unless I make a complete and utter idiotic, stupid, ridiculous mistake, this will be it, my friends. The good news is, we're doing a much, much better job against just random, regular balloons. So, like, check this out. This is round 47. I'm not going to use any abilities here. Let's see what happens. All right, we don't have any camera detection. Whoops. Whoops! I forgot we can we can lose to that. So anyways, I'm gonna use my camo detection on Geraldo. I think for uh, forever, for the rest of ever, we will be using camo detection on Geraldo. Um, as kind of like my my only camo detection, probably. But maybe we'll have to use it a little bit once we get to DDTs and hope that maybe we can get lucky with possibly Geraldo's fire and stuff like that all being on his turrets and that will help me with the DDTs. Don't know for sure. We're gonna have to watch that. Um, either which way, though, I have to be very smart with Geraldo to make sure that I use him properly, and I have to make sure that I'm using my abilities kind of at the right time. But again, it is less stressful, because if I do make a mistake, I just get to press continue. That really honestly relieves me of a lot of chaos, a lot of issues going on in my soul right now. Um, I'm actually curious how well we're going to do against 49 without doing anything, so let's see. I'm assuming we're going to lose. Let's see. But if we do beat round 49, I mean, that's really impressive. I mean, look at this. One random red balloon trying to sneak through. A couple of random yellows trying to sneak through. Okay, so we do end up losing, but not by much. That's kind of cool, actually, if you really get down and think about it. That means one ability here and there, of course, is going to change the flow of the game completely. Now, don't underestimate the fact that I have had to put a lot of money into Geraldo and his turrets. Each one of these turrets costs about 200 bucks. So we spent, you know, a couple grand on him. Plus, we're having to actively add the cam detection to Geraldo instead of just getting cam detection through Etienne. So that is also kind of wasting money. Um, there is no other cam detection. That's, that's the worst part about this entire thing is there is no other cam detection. Uh, we have to rely on Geraldo and his potions. That's not really very good. Luckily, again, turrets doing a pretty good job overall. Not fantastic, but pretty good. Should be noted that round 59 is going to be kind of cray-cray. Um, of course, I lost this time around, but what I have to do is I have to get camp detection on Geraldo, and then I also have to get him lead popping power, which I think the easiest way to do it... Uh, well, you know what? You know what? I think the cheaper way to do it is actually to do it like this, but... I think long term here, because we got a couple tough rounds coming in here with the 60s. I think our best bet's actually to just buy Geraldo's fire on one of these turrets, which will also have camo detection, um, which should give us the lead popping power that we need, and also some extra popping power just for the next 10 rounds or so. Uh, it looks like it's going pretty well. Um, good enough for me, man. I'm happy. A decent hurdle, but something I don't think that we will have too much trouble surpassing is round 63. I've had to try a couple different times on it really quickly. Luckily, these guys do last a pretty good amount of time, and it looks like we are able to beat two sets of the ceramics with those guys. I'm hoping I can get one more ability here for the end of round 63. Um, if I can do that, life will be pretty good. If I can't do that, oh yeah, this is looking pretty bad, actually. Oh boy. Um, Alright, how close is it? I mean, we're pretty twight, pretty twight. Let's see what I can pull off. I think we're going to do it. I added a strength potion to Geraldo, and that seems to be helping a lot for these guys. Um, I can basically activate one of these guys per round 63 ability, and then for the last one, this guy should still be available for part of it. So uh, don't forget, this is the last set is going to be more difficult than the first two by just a couple balloons, but it can make a difference. Um, and it does last us through, and we beat round 63. So I've come to a bit of a standstill on round 78. I'm trying to figure out the cheapest way to defeat these camo balloons. Uh, I spent $500 on a uh, fire spirit. That'll help me out for a pretty good amount of time here, but again, that's wasted money. It will not help me for 90 to 100, so that's something sad to think about. I could buy camo detection for another one of these guys, uh, but that will 
possibly lead to Geraldo not having any cam detection for a certain amount of time, which I do not want to do. So I've decided I'm going to try to just glue this big chunk of camo ceramics. Um, I might just glue one side of the camo ceramics as soon as they come out um, and see if I can pop them that way. Let's see, let's glue a lot of them. We glue every single one of them. That's perfect. All right, that might just give us enough time for our rabbit to get to work, but the rabbit's being stupid and killing the stuff over on this side for some reason. Doesn't seem to matter, though. We luckily do survive round 78, finally, with a $600 cost of, uh, of doing business, I guess. It's kind of sad, but it does give us a lot of money to work around with, which means we get to buy more transforming tonics. Now, this has been much, much, much easier to survive. It's not been a transforming tonic, transforming tonic, transforming tonic kind of festival. It's been a, hey, Chris, feel like using a transforming tonic? Pop one out, have some fun. This is much more enjoyable, man. I gotta say, with continues, life feels good. I, I feel like I should never play chimps ever again. Just play hips forever. Okay, it's round 90. We are going to be adding our fire spirits down. We're gonna be going for all three of the fire spirits. Uh, on turrets, so we can get cam detection here. Because, of course, these guys do nothing! And guess what? So does that mean that our run is just over? Well, not not yet, but it does mean there is definitely some issues that we're going to have to deal with here. Um, we're going to try to beat round 90 and round 93 without using a genie. But if it comes down to it, we'll have to use both the genie on round 90 and 93. And then again on 95. So let's see if this is going to work. I'm going to build uh, three of these guys. I'm going to make sure that I use monkey glue. And we're going to try to throw down a couple of these random spikes. In addition, uh, as far as cam detection is concerned, this seems silly, but I decided to use Geraldo's cam detection on round 86, which I think will get me the 15 rounds needed to go all the way around 100, uh, 100, which means that I could buy another one of these on another random tower that could give me that cam detection but i'm really afraid to do this because if we do screw this up and this doesn't give me the full 15 rounds of cam detection um i won't have cam detection for geraldo on round 100 which will be our ddd popping power that could be pretty scary so i ha I, th I feel like i have to take the chance um we want to make sure we use an alchemist that has the ability ready to go so we're going to use it on this guy um and we're going to elk we're going to see what happens man let's, let's go let's hope we don't make any mistakes or any major issues See if this is going to be enough damage for round 90. And it looks like it's going to be close. But we do take down round 90. Now we might need genies for 93 and 95. But then we got to be careful because Geraldo's about to go up to level 20. When you go up to level 20, it's good news and bad news. It's good news because every single one of these abilities is going to come back. Almost all of them. is going to come back so you can use it again. Um, with whatever amount there is. So we can use four more turret, three more Geraldo's fires, three more glues, all that fun stuff. So if we can use all that up before he reaches level 20, life will be pretty good. It looks like we only got one more round to go. So we're gonna use up the sharpening stone for sure. Um, we're gonna use up the turret for sure. Uh, it's probably the last one we're gonna get here. And then I think I've gotta go for a GD on 93. I don't really see another way around it. I don't think we're gonna have enough uh, popping power here. I don't think so. The one thing we have to do now as well is we have to activate specific alchemists because I don't want to accidentally activate this alchemist before round 93, giving me a possible chance of uh, still surviving 93 without a genie. Possibly. I don't know for sure, but we're going to, of course, try. Um, if we can make that happen, life would be pretty beautiful. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. Let's activate some more of these puppies. Quite a few of them. Round 93 does have some blues coming out against us. We don't want to use all of them. I think that should be enough for 92, hopefully. Speed this up, and we do take down round 92. Here we go, now 93. We got some money to deal with, too. Geraldo, though, will he reach level 20 here? I don't think so. He only went up from there to there, so he's probably going to go up to somewhere over here, but I think for 95, he'll probably go up that level. All right, activate everything. Let's see what we got. Okay, that didn't work. So we get another Jerry's Fire. That can help us out. So let's get a Jerry's Fire on another random turret somewhere near the middle. It's probably ideal. And then now we have uh, some spikes. So we're going to throw down all 10 sets of spikes here. They're only 55 bucks each, so they're not super pricey. But they are going to be something for us. Um, my only issue here, I think I'm going to throw down a couple of randomly over here. Because if we just hit some DDT layer rather than blue layer, that would be better. And then I'm also going to glue. So we're going to go for one glue and two glues here. 
Uh, and then I think I will still activate this guy, obviously. I'm just going to activate all three of them, actually. Um, and then, again, will this save us a genie? Let's give it a shot. All right, here we go. Activate them all. The glue is slowing them all down. With the rabbit and everything combined together, we do beat run 93. I don't want to say saving money, but we made it happen. That's all I can really say. We made it happen. All right, again, I'm keeping my money until we absolutely need it. Having continues allows us to do weirder and crazier things. So I am willing to do weirder and crazier things, bro. Again, a slow activation on these guys. I think this will get us through around 94, even though it was pretty chaotic last time. Um, having those, just like the rabbit itself, it's like into killing a lot of the ceramics and getting us tons of popping power here. All right. Ooh, they are getting pretty far, though. Um, luckily, we do take it down, and now we here, here we are on round 95. And Geraldo has reached level 20, which was a mistake. I'm a little upset about that, because I should have thrown a genie down on 94. Now I have to waste one of my genies for 95. I'm pretty confident I'm going to have to do that, but we're going to try it without. We're going to go for three more of these guys, one, two, and three. Um, I've got four more turrets, which probably won't do much DDT damage, but at least they're there. At least they exist. Um, and then I'm going to go for our three glues. Let's see what's going to happen here. I mean, I, don't forget, I have to redo all of this if we fail. So here we go. Let's get a glue. Let's get a two glues. Let's get three glues. Um, dang. Okay, so here's some other good news. I kind of forgot about this. Uh, we do have more camera detection potions now, so I'm going to use at least one camera detection potion on an alchemist that will be available to be used. Pretty much all of them, realistically, but let's throw one down here. Let's get ourselves set up, and then I'll, I'll be back. So again, I'm hesitant to use uh, my camo potion on another alchemist. My last one. I could get three total alchemists up to their abilities. Um... But I'm hesitant to do that because if Geraldo runs out of cam detection on round 100, I lose. And I, I hope that I did the math right, but I, I I don't know for sure. I'm not like an expert at Geraldo, even though I play with him a lot. I mean, memorizing every single thing on how many rounds they last and everything's pretty difficult. Uh, but uh, here we go. We're going to go big here. Every single ability we got as soon as we got it. And then I'm going to throw down some glue after we kind of get the party started. I'm going to throw down all three glues. Did I get the last one in? All three glues, more alchemists getting thrown out here. It's a long round, though. Geraldo still has to do most of the DDT popping power. Um, I think we're not going to survive, but, you know, we got a chance here. It looks like we unbelievably do survive. Round 95, no genies. That is quite impressive. It seems silly to try to save genies this hard, but uh, they really, really, really matter in the long term. And I think I screwed myself over. I don't know if I'm going to have enough pop and power to get used to these, uh, get ready for these guys. I don't know if there's anything that I could do about this either. Maybe throw it in a Maelstrom. Might be enough to kind of keep me alive here. I wanted to save those two, but, uh, if I can stay alive here by doing this, I think it's worth. Alright, we got a lot of money. Um, I think I gotta spend some money here. So let's get a few more alchemists going, and then I gotta throw down a few more alchemists starting in weirder spots now. So I do wanna put mine down over here. Um, you know what? We're actually. Oh, dang. The balloons are gonna sneak through. Ugh. Alright. You know, I don't think Total Transformation actually does anything here. You know, I'm gonna try to survive without that Maelstrom. Let's see what happens. I have no idea. Maybe we can just magically survive. Uh, we got one of these guys activated. Uh, a lot of Jerry's fires. Do I have anything else that I could use now? I mean, that's pretty much everything. Oh yeah, get that activation flowing. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, is Total Transformation gonna do anything for us? I don't think so. I might test that out in Sandbox really quickly before I go too far. I think I'm better off, you know, I'm definitely better off spamming just the regulars. Let's go for the regulars. Even if they're in goofier spots, bro. Um, nothing wrong with this. All right, we're going to activate our last two here that we have. Ooh, and it's still not enough. Dang, bro. All right, I blew my entire alchemist load here near the end of the map. Um, and it still looks like it's going to be a struggle fest. 
Oh, it was really, really close. I think we might be able to get lucky with it, though. Let me try a couple more times. Check this out. You guys ready for it? There's two, four, and six. Oh, my God. We're going to go... Boop, 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 boop. Nine alchemists. All at the same time. And they'll still get another one over here, I think. Oh, dang. This is still looking a little rough for us. Pretty scary. Pretty sketch. Pretty sucktastic. All right, we did it. I don't know how we did it, but 96 has been defeated. Uh, now we've got to work on our round 97. This shouldn't be ho hopefully too horrible, I don't think. Um, we'll have to do something very similar to the last round. Um, and then if I can survive round 97, I can probably use a genie on round 98 if I want to, and then a genie on round 99 if I want to, and that will get me one genie through to round 100, which will hopefully win us this game. Um, that's the plan, at least. Alright, we're gonna try to survive with the least amount of these guys used, so I think I'm gonna do just one more. Let's see if that's gonna be enough here. Uh, yes, it is. Alright, beautiful. Alright, round 98. Um, let's spend our money. I don't want to spend all of it, but I gotta spend a decent amount of it. Let's do, uh, just one alchemist for now, and one ready-to-upgrade alchemist, I suppose. Another one at the top here, I think. Alright, we're gonna take it slow. I do have some glue and things. Oh, no, I have no glue. I do have some things that I can use. Oh, I got a Jerry's Fire. Let's do a uh, Jerry's Fire somewhere. Um, on a turret, hopefully. I got Zoma God's already in the middle of the screen here. We gotta, we gotta blow some of our load here. I'm gonna go for a Maelstrom. If I can find it. Here's a Maelstrom. Everybody's going right now. And another Maelstrom. It's gonna keep us alive. Holy crap. The Maelstrom, baby! Woo! All right, we got nothing for 99, though. All right, I think we lose. All right, we gotta use the genie. Um, oh, you know, we can use both genies. Let's just go genie and genie. Let's hope two genies is enough to just kill everything magically. Hopefully. Tis not, but it's close. I think we can make some crap happen. So this isn't that big of a deal now that I have two genies available for around 100, um, pretty much no matter what. But I'm still a little bit afraid to use this camera detection potion, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, it kind of sucks, but I can use it on a guy that will have his ability ready. So I, I, I have to try. Uh, and if this ruins my run, I'm going to be so mad. But one ability could be the thing that we need. Could be everything that we need. Just one single ability. With two genies, obviously. Two genies is pretty powerful. Two genies is very powerful. And a, a camo green sneaks through. A camo rico green. Okay. All right, we're breaking out the glue. I know. It's a game changer. But we are breaking out the glue. So here we go. Glue ability. And let's see if that'll be enough here. It's just a small change. The glue does not last for every DDT. Ooh, we got a camo balloon sneaking through over there. Okay. Okay, I decided to try doing a strength potion. Uh, I don't know if that's going to do what I want it to do, but I got to try for it. Um, I could try to throw other things down, but I'm not going to. We're going to wait on the DDT glue for a little bit. Try to glue just the DDTs here. Oh, I used my Alchemist late, though. Oh, dang. We might be able to get lucky if I Maelstrom in the middle, because there's a lot of Moebs getting in the way as well. So we're going to try for that. We're going to use our ability. We're going to Maelstrom in the middle as well. Let's see if that cleans up some of these Moebs so I can hit more DDTs with my abilities. It's getting very close again, but a few balloons are sneaking through. <laughs> All right. I tried to strength potion everybody, including this alchemist as well. I'm going to blow his alchemist load a little early here to try to get things started. We're still going to glue. We're going to still use that maelstrom. Um, and if this fails, this could be the end of us. But it looks like this time around, beauty in a bag has just happened. It's beautiful. It's ridiculous to see. It's insane to watch. But oh my god, it might be happening. All right, we're going to have every Alchemist ready to blow his load, ready to go right now. And I might have to wait until I go around a second time. I don't know. Um, just a single bad balloon, bro. Can we make it happen? Everybody's working together. Ooh, I got another Jerry's Fire. Yay! And we popped the DDTs. All we got to do is some Zoma Gods now. More Alchemists flopping out here. Zoma Gods are dead. Moebs down to ceramics. Can we? Are you kidding me? Are you are you kidding me, man? What what the heck is this? Like just straight up imagine if that happened in the chimps game. You know how, how angry I would be. I, I 
I don't even know what I would do, dude. I, I would probably quit Balloon Star Defense 6. Just forever. Just be like, I'm done. See you later. I tried. I did my best. I'm going to try to be a little more exact with our abilities this time. I'm going to try to use the ones kind of as they're in range here. And then now these guys can finally be activated. So we're going to activate everybody. I probably should have activated those two right away, but um, I don't know exactly when their abilities came up. Anyways, I got some money. I could probably build another one of these uh, uh, alchemists as well, but I'm hoping that this pink balloon just does not magically sneak through this time. And we get it done! Geraldo with 917,000 pops. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch. Look at that, we've done it. Alchemists only? Kind of. I mean, with Geraldo and all that, I mean, it, it does make things a little easier. But it does not mean it's an automatic. You could tell how much we struggle lugged throughout this entire game, bro. There's a lot of issues, a lot of run-ups, a lot of major hiccups, but we followed through. So if you guys want to press that like button for me, if you guys want to subscribe for me, that would be absolutely fantastic. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.